So good morning and welcome to a, a misty pine woods here on the Formby Nature Reserve again. It's Sunday morning and a very misty morning again. So I've come out with a view to make three compositions this morning. Um, the first one is just behind you there, the fallen down tree over the path or the leaning over tree. Uh, so I'm going to make that one in a second. Uh, this one behind me is the fallen down tree, which I have shot before handheld with the Leica Q, but it wasn't, it didn't really work out to be honest. It was more dusk rather than a mist, so I'm going to go over and make that now. And then I'm just going to wander down the path in the woodland and just see what else jumps out. There is another tree I'd like to try and photograph as well. So yeah, I'm going to get on and uh, make the most of these wonderful conditions here on this beautiful location. So again, using my um, panoramic overlay there, just to simplify the scene, it looks absolutely fantastic on the back of the camera there. And uh, yeah, and a pleasant scene looking down there into the woodland. I'm going to make my way down there now and see if I can get a bit closer to the fallen down tree. Okay, so I'm not sure if that works now that I've got down here. I'm not sure if it's the lens is too wide or if it's just lost a bit of its appeal now that it's um, a little bit closer. I think it needs the trees surrounding it just to uh, to bring it out, but not to worry. In the spirit of wanting to get on, I'll move on and we'll see what's around the corner. Okay, so I've just come across this little scene just walking down the path here. Uh, it's one of those scenes what kind of jumps out at you when there's mist and nothing else. Um, I would have walked past this probably normally, so we'll make the shot there, five second exposure. There you go, that's quite interesting. Certainly in the panoramic format. So I'll have a look at that on the computer. Okay, so after getting a little bit lost in the woodland there, I never found my third composition. Uh, I must have taken a wrong turn in somewhere. But I've come down to the beach here now, so you can see the dune system just behind me there. And uh, this mist is a bit like a rainbow. And you can see it in the distance, but as you get close to it, it's not there. It's always in the distance. So I'm gonna go down to the dunes there where we've shot previously. I'm gonna hope that I can um, I can work on that composition what we've worked on previously and just get the path through the grass really on the dunes that's kind of what I'm looking for now so yeah what a beautiful morning though um, just me and a few dog walkers and uh, yeah a privilege to be out So I'm going for a scene where I can get as no footprints or as little amount as possible. And I think this little scene here has quite captured it well. Um, we've obviously got a distant piece of uh, interest as well, which is capturing the mist. So you can see there is a misty morning. Notice how you can't see that in the direct foreground there though. Uh, I love that green band what goes through the scene there. And it's uh, yeah quite interesting that one. Again, probably wouldn't have captured that without the addition of the mist in the background just making it a little bit more subdued as you can see there it's uh, obviously becomes more obvious when you look into the distance there as we'll see if we look around here so maybe the uh, maybe the trick is to find something like this in the foreground and then position that um, give us that leading but yeah I'm not overly sure that works anyway I'm gonna head this way and we'll uh, we'll see what unfolds as I make a bit of progress I 
Okay, so I've just gone for this little shot here. Um, using the panoramic overlay, we can remove the footprints what are in the foreground. Uh, we've got that green strip of the marram grass again, which I like. And then we've got the distant view, which obviously emphasizes the mist again. So when you look uh, there, you can see we've got some footprints down there in the foreground, but I've managed to uh, crop those out. So yeah, I think that could work. And maybe that would be better if I got down a bit lower as well. Maybe to um, maybe come round here. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Maybe I've got it from that height there. It's quite an interesting ridge what um, runs down the side here. So I was maybe thinking I could capture some of that. So if I stand here. Yeah, it's kind of lost really, I think, isn't it? But yeah, okay, well we'll make some more progress. Okay, so I've made it down to my uh, position here on the dunes. I've been here several times now, as you might have seen through previous videos. It's, uh... It is really wonderful with a bit of um, addition of mist. So I've just um, got myself here. This little section, what I like, there's not many footprints. There might be one or two. They're probably mine from the other day. I can't imagine many people come down this little bit. Uh, if you can hear in the background there, it's high tide. So we've got the soothing noise of the sea coming in. We're just lapping on the the beach just down there you can just vaguely make it out and the silhouettes of people walking by it's it's absolutely glorious morning really really atmospheric and, um, nice with the uh, the path running off into the distance there through the dunes just picking up on what i said last time about how we can use these visual elements as um obviously the they're a collective, aren't they, of millions of strands of grass, and but when they all work together, they can form these shapes and paths. So with all the, they've got some wonderful colour on as well, yellowy green and very soft, almost pastely. Reminds me of like a Portra 400 type of an image. Maybe I'll have to bring my film camera down here at one point. So I'm going to make a, a little shot from down here, just on the clearing, and hopefully that'll uh, communicate my feelings for this place and how I feel about it. It's, uh, it's a really calm spot just to stand in and especially on a morning like this I mean you feel like you've got a little bit more privacy because there's obviously a, a, a cloak of mist around us all and there's people walking about singing and things you know because they probably think nobody's here or they can't see anybody else so it's quite an experience really um, all right well I'll make this shot here I'll talk you through what I'm thinking okay so this is the uh, composition what I've got set up here we can see this um this wonderful uh, patch of of clearing here, which is looking pretty good this morning. Not many footprints, and probably my footprints actually from a previous visit. Uh, and then we've obviously got the path what runs off into the distance there. And then what I like is this undulation what runs through it. So we've got this bank here, and it's all kind of fringed with the green marram grass, and it's like a wave what goes through the scene there. Um, and then it picks up with this path into the distance and then I don't know if you'll see there on the back of the camera but we've got these silhouetted dunes in the background there so I'm going to grab my focus point from at some point in the middle so just zooming into this grass here in the very foreground I'll just make sure that's nice and sharp there we go I'm shooting that at f22 so just as a way of checking you can see there that grass is quite blurred but if I press I've got a little button under here my depth of field preview button press that and it nice and sharps, sharpens it up nicely so just give my composition one last check yep I think somewhere around there is probably going to work for me and we'll commit to taking that so I'm using a self timer here three seconds and then a one second exposure and that's what we get there, wonderful. Yeah, very pleased with that. We'll see how that looks on the computer. So just to talk you through what I can see here, obviously we've got the, like I say, we've got this wonderful wave what kind of runs through the scene there. And that's mirrored by the uh, dunes in the background there. And then obviously we pick up the path then going off into the distance. 
um, just getting a little bit more elevation up here so that's just above head height now you can see what effect that has and then coming down a bit lower um, I do quite like it from this lower perspective but I think this little piece of grass here or this clump of grass just spoils that opening a tiny bit maybe so I don't think I'll take that one but yeah a beautiful morning Okay, so another fan fascinating shoot here. It's, uh, it's quite amazing how, I don't know how big this area is. Um, obviously yesterday, or in last week's video, Mally and I walked uh, more or less the full length or most of the length of this dune system and it took a long while. And I keep focusing on this one little patch. It seems to draw me like a magnet into this little scene. I don't know if it's because I don't feel like I've um, completed the composition or if I've got I, I think the first shot I took with it handheld with the Leica Q I think that's probably the best shot I've ever taken of it but obviously now I've, well I've visited in sunrise sunset and mist I'm wondering what else I can do with it um, it seems to be a fascinating little spot what just keeps drawing me in but yeah nothing wrong with that I suppose but yeah so it's a wonderful morning hopefully you can see behind me there and you can hear the sea crashing on the sand behind what a beautiful experience it is just to be down here and to be totally present and mindful really in the moment and just appreciating being here really I think it's um, I feel very fortunate really to to just be able to walk down here a few moments from the house so it's uh, yeah very lucky really okay so this is my little submerged tree what I've spoke about before and uh, quite an interesting thing to consider as a panoramic shot with the it being off center so I've just positioned the tree on the third on the right hand side and I'm using that um, a line of marram grass to uh, lead us from the left corner bottom corner to the tree and then the bank is coming down from the top right corner down into the tree there so yeah quite nice very subtle color as well just that addition of mist just making everything a bit more subtle so yeah, very pleased with how that one's come out. Alright, well, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave it there for this week and I'm going to have a wander back and um, get some breakfast and I'll, uh, I'll leave you there. So thanks again for coming with me. Thanks for supporting me and my photography here on YouTube. Thanks for your positive comments below. If you like what I'm doing give us a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber already then feel free to subscribe there's new videos coming every week and there's an extensive back catalogue with a year's worth of weekly vlogs from landscape shoots predominantly in the Lake District and uh, a weekly vlog coming forward so thanks again and I'll uh, see you next time all the best for now bye bye